Uh, greetings, greetings, fellow grade 11s. It's Mr. Shajwai here. Welcome to Back to Basics. Now, what is it that we are looking at today? Basically, we are looking at our sine, cosine, and our area rule. So basically, we are looking at our 2D and 3D shapes and trying to understand in terms of how do we go about you know, applying our sine rule and cosine rule when solving these types of questions, right? So we are going to, you know, understand this through the past paper of Eastern Cape, which was 2023, right? This was November 2023. Now, let's see. So let's start. They say in the diagram below, you are having your PQ, which is vertical, uh, which is a uh, vertical tower Q, R, and S are point on the same, uh, you know, horizontal plane. Now, the angle of... Uh, elevation from r to p is uh q you are also having your qrs which is 120 degrees and you're having pq uh which is close to your rs which is close to your s right now let's see the first thing that they've told us which means they are saying this side is actually close to this side right now they want us to determine what is going to be your qr in terms of your theta and also your x right now what is it that we can do from here? Let's start here. Now, the best thing that we can do now, uh, if you can look at this, right? Can you see that when you are focusing in triangle, uh, in triangle PQR, triangle PQR, right? Now, in triangle PQR, if you can use your turn of theta, your turn of theta is going to be same as what? Your turn of theta is going to be same as, remember, it's positive and your adjacent, right? It's uh, it's opposite over adjacent, right? So, which means this is going to be your PQ over your RQ or your QR, right? Then, now, what is it that you are going to do? Now, this is the same as tan of theta uh, is equals to what is your PQ? Now, your PQ is close to X. And what is your QR? Your QR is going to be this, right? Now, when you cross multiply here, which means the value of your QR is going to be same as X over your tan of your theta. Oh, it's okay. So that's going to be uh the first thing that you're going to do from there. Now, uh, so this, which means this particular line is given by x over tan of theta, right? So that's going to be the length of your QR. If we can say now we are continuing, let's look, let's look at the next question. What is it that we are required to do in the next question? They say show that your QS, right? They want you to show that your QS your Q and also your S, right? Your Q and S is going to be close to the X root of 1 over tan squared X plus uh, 1 over tan theta plus 1, right? Now, this is for maths. I know that, uh, you know, this looks a little bit complicated, but now let's see in terms of what is it that we can do now from here. Now, uh, if let's say we start here, we are saying we are going to look at your QS, right? We are looking at your QS. Now, the easier thing that you can say about your QS, I want to redraw this triangle, right? Let's say I'm just redrawing this triangle of mine, uh, this triangle where this is your S, this is your Q, and this is going to be your R. You must have an understanding that, can you see this is going to be same as X, and uh, your RQ here, this is same as X over your turn of theta, right? Your turn of theta, and this is going to be 120 degrees, right? This is given by 120 degrees. So, now what is it that you can do now from here? So, which means now you can find out what is your QS by applying our what? By applying our cosine rule. Because remember, for cosine rule, what you need, you need a side, side, and also an angle in between four whenever you are looking for the corresponding side, right? Remember, you have the side, side, and then the angle in between when you are looking for the corresponding side, which means you are going to say uh, your QS squared, uh, your Q, uh, your QS squared, uh, now your QS squared is going to be close to what? Your QS squared is going to be same as, uh, your what? Your QS squared is going to be same as your RS, right? This is going to be same as your, this is going to be same as your RS, uh, this is same as R squared plus your QR squared plus your QR squared. This is QR squared. Uh, subtract now 2. This is same as RS multiplied by your QR. Uh, uh, 
then this is going to be your cos of what your cos of your r right this is going to be your cos of your r or rather your sr cube your sr cube now what is it that you are going to do then now from here so which means now you are going to start here and say your uh your rs what is going to be your rs your rs is given by x so which means this is x squared plus your qr you or we are already given that your qr is same as what it is same as your x over uh your tan your tan of uh your what your tan of theta then this is subtract what subtract 2 into x multiply by uh x over your tan of theta then this is going to be cos of 120 degrees altogether so basically that is going to be this one now so what is it that you are going to do now from here uh, so let's see in terms of what is it that you can do now from here so when you continue multiplying for an example here this is same as x squared so this is same as your x squared plus this is same as your x over tan of theta right tan of theta uh, this is going to subtract now here it's same as x multiplied by x which is x squared which means basically this is same as 2x squared over tan of theta right 2x squared over tan of theta multiplied by cos of 120 degrees right so basically this is going to be that one right and now what is uh cos of 120 degrees this is actually uh, same as what it's same as uh your 90 plus 30 which is going to what which is going to be your uh, your spatial angle so which means this is going to be negative half right so this is going to be negative half here let's just write this as negative half so this is going to be your negative one over two now and then now from here what is it that you are going to have now from here let's see in terms of what is it that we can do so uh, when you continue multiplying here which means here this is same as what this is same as uh now if let's say we write this here so this is same as your uh your q uh your qs squared it's same as this is same as your x squared uh plus this is same as x over tan theta right and uh, subtract 2 uh x squared over tan theta multiply by negative 1 over 2 remember then this was multiplied by cos, right? Now, I want you to have an understanding that this, the negative 2 and then uh, the what? And these two, they are going to cancel each other, right? These are going to cancel each other, which means basically your Q, uh, your QS squared is actually going to be same as your X squared plus X over uh, tan theta. This is going to be uh, what? Now, this one is going to be same as plus. This is going to be same as plus. Uh, your what this is plus uh x squared remember the two cancelled each other so it's x squared multiplied by tan of theta oh, okay so basically that is going to be uh your uh your thing then now after that you can find out the square root of both sides right so when you find out the square root of both sides what is it that you're going to do now from here so uh let's say when you want to find the square root you are saying the square root here right and you're looking for the square root of this right so which means your q r s is going to be same as what now now this is same as uh, the square root of everything now to get what they are looking for to get what they are looking for let's just make up our space then now from here and write this uh from here now uh what is it that you're going to do now you can take out your x squared as a common factor because you're having x squared even this was uh, even this was x squared because this was tan of x this was x squared right so you are having x squared this is also x squared because this was also squared right so this is x squared over tan squared yes this is x squared which means it's going to be x squared over tan squared right now if let's say you are taking out uh your uh, under the square root you are taking out the x squared as a what as a common factor what is it that you're going to be left with you're going to be left with one plus the the numerator is going to be same as one over tan uh, over tan squared theta plus this is going to be same as one over uh, tan theta right uh, now and then this is going to be this one right so this is basically what they are looking for isn't it so so because now that's what they were looking for when you're taking out one as a common factor right you can still write the one at the end it's still going to be one and the same thing 
Oh, now when you are looking for the square root, remember, this is x squared and the square root, this one. So you can take out the x outside, right? So the square root of x is, uh, of x squared is actually going to be x. So which means this is actually x into, uh, this is same as what now? This is same as 1 over tan squared theta plus 1 over tan theta. And this is 1 over tan theta plus 1. Oh, it's okay. So that's going to be uh, the uh, the thing that you're going to find here, right? So hopefully all of these make sense now and you're in a position to answer this uh, question. Let's look at the next question now, all right? Now let's look at the following question. In the following question, what is it that they are saying? Now they are saying if, so now they are giving you that if x is equals to 15 and your, your theta is 22, now, they want you to calculate what is going to be your QS, right? What is going to be your QS? Now, to find out your QS, which means you must transpose everything there, right? So, you are going to say your QS is going to be same as, remember, this was given by X. So, where there is X, remember, this was X into 1, uh, 1 over tan uh, squared theta plus 1 over tan theta plus 1, right? Now, this is going to be same as what? What is your X? Your X is 15 into... Uh, right, this is 15 into 1 over uh, tan of 20, they said the degree is 22 uh, squared, right? This is tan 22 squared. Uh, this is plus 1 over tan of 22 degrees, right? Plus 1. And then when you plug this in your calculator, right? Now they say uh, they want you to calculate what is going to be your QS, right? Now when you plug this in your calculator, the answer that you are going to get, this is going to be same as 46, uh, uh, comma, what, comma, 48 meters, 46, comma, 48 meters. Oh, it's okay. So basically, that is going to be this one, your, what, your QS, right? Hopefully, this makes sense to you now. Let's look at your, uh, your, your QPS. Now, they want you to find out what is going to be the angle of QPS, right? So now, to find out what is your Q, uh, this is P, this is what, uh, your S, right? So they are looking for this particular angle here. So to find out, uh, for that angle, what is it that you're going to say now? So you're going to say, look, my turn of, if I'm looking for my turn of QPS, right? Turn of QPS, this is going to be same as your 46, uh, now, uh, remember, you are already having the, the opposite side, which is going to be your QS, which was 46, right? So this is going to be 46. Remember, this is given by 46, 48, right? This is going to 46, 48. Divide by uh, what is going to be uh, this other one over 15, right? Because the X, they said it's 15. So now what is it that you're going to find here? Which means when you are plugging this, this is going to be same as your QPS is equals to your turn of uh this is four six comma four eight over one five then now your qps right the angle that you're going to find here this is same as 72 comma uh, 11 degrees also okay. so that's going to be the angle that you're going to find in here right hopefully this makes sense now and you are in a position to answer all these types of questions if you may be given in examination thank you very much for listening